If you're working on a personal project, setting up or running a business, you're bound to face challenges along the way. You might find yourself stuck at a crossroads and don't know which route to take, or perhaps you feel like you've got no options at all. How do you overcome this and move your project forward? I'm Kevin Mansalabel, designer, marketer, and lifelong entrepreneur. My work these days involves helping startups and growing businesses overcome obstacles, unlock potential, and seize opportunities, moving their business and ideas forward. Running a business or being an entrepreneur can be an exciting way to work and live. Over the last 15 years, I've worked with hundreds of clients spanning masses of industries, from hairdressers starting out to manufacturers shipping products worldwide, online financial firms, and those developing the next generation of tech. Entrepreneurs and business owners are creative people. They're problem solvers. But as the old saying goes, sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees. People reach out to me with one key question. We've got a problem and we don't know how to fix it. If you've hit a roadblock in your project or organization, here's five things that I've learned about moving forward as you plan for tomorrow. Be clear on what you're trying to achieve and don't jump to conclusions. We've all encountered problems before and what do we do? we instinctively jump to a solution before we've evaluated the challenges in front of us. Why? Because it's comfortable and easy, and we naturally stick to what we know or have always done. I've worked on many projects that start with a defined outcome. However, with a little conversation and context, it soon becomes clear the proposed direction may not fit the problem at the heart of it. This may sound obvious, but it's so often overlooked. From a marketing perspective, project briefs dictate a defined outcome before they've got a full grasp of the problem they're looking to solve. If you're creating a website, be clear on what the problem is solving. Is it to create credibility? Get people to sign up? Be sure you understand that goal. Design the strategy around the goal. Once you're clear on the goal, you need to design your strategy backwards from there. For example, if you're looking to increase sales of your products online, you need a strategy that raises awareness within your target groups, encourages them to visit the website, and then provides a great user experience with a compelling reason to purchase. With clarity on what you're trying to achieve, you'll be able to join up the dots from where you are now and where you want to be, making the route clear. Take a new perspective. I've seen so many instances where people design solutions from their own single perspective. Task an accountant or engineer with a problem, and they'll typically design an accounting or engineering solution. But it may be helpful to get multiple perspectives, or at least be open and aware to alternative viewpoints. Collaborative working and co-creation can be a great way to make this happen. A shift of mindset can be all that it needs to have that breakthrough moment. You've probably got the answers already. Think of the glass half full or the glass half empty analogy. Based on the people and organizations I've worked with over the years, reframing a challenge can be a great way to unlocking a route forward. Rather than focusing on what you don't have, think about what you do, such as loyal customers, equipment, experience, stock, or access to support, advice, and guidance. I was speaking to a client who was trying to work out how to increase the sales of personalized clothing. Whilst they jumped to the idea of creating new relationships and reaching out to new clients, it turns out they'd not communicated to their existing 5,000 customers in years. If only 1% of these clients placed an order with an average order value of £500, they were probably sat on £25,000 worth of potential sales. Take time out to help make this happen. Whilst you're busy working hard to get work done, it can be easy to focus on working in the business rather than on the business. Even small amounts of time on a regular basis an hour each week or a day per month will help you to identify opportunities and put plans in place to seize them. Think of it like an aerial view of the problem. Looking at it from above gives a whole new perspective and gives you context to the bigger picture. I recently worked on a study in which I spoke to micro business owners about their thoughts on innovation in their business. While 78% of respondents reported that dedicated time to innovation was crucial to business success, relatively low numbers actually set the time aside to achieve this. So I ask you, what's the point in thinking innovatively if you're not actually going to dedicate time to achieving it? Be sure to schedule time to take that step back, perhaps in a different workspace or environment. A physical cue can be a great way to change your mindset. Work from home, the meeting room, or perhaps the beach or park. But be sure to have that big picture thinking marked out in your diary. Turn off the emails and the work phone, 
even just for an hour, you'll be surprised the difference it makes. Remember, perspective is everything. What seems like a massive issue at 11 p.m. at night can seem much brighter the next day. Understand that and embrace it. What can you do to change your perspective today to help you move forward tomorrow?